if you're like us, your fantastic fans are one of the most used pieces of equipment in your RV. During the summer, they dramatically reduce the need for air conditioning, and when it's cold out, they're essential for reducing one of the most potentially damaging things inside your RV. Moisture. Showering, cooking, just breathing produces moisture that can accumulate on the inside of your windows and lead to mold and mildew growth. Our bathroom fan is almost never closed, except when we're driving or when the AC is on. It's no exaggeration to say that it runs nearly 24-7 all year round. The only problem is that they move so much air that they get pretty dirty from all the dust in the air. Although we vacuum the screens off whenever we vacuum the carpets, we also dismantle the fans maybe once a year or so to really super clean them. And that's what we're going to do today. And when we turn that off, you may not be able to tell in the video, but it's pretty dirty. We've upgraded with Fantastic's pop-in screen so that there's no screws to take out and this can just pop out real easily. You can just reach up into here and just clean the fan off by reaching the blades from here. It's kind of hard to get to both sides of them though and also the ring around the outside is impossible to get completely clean. So if you really want to be anal retentive like we are about super cleaning things once a year, uh, we're going to get up on the roof and show you how to take this out and clean it really, really thoroughly. We know that Max Air vent fan covers are by far the most popular on the market. They're at Camping World and RV stores, but we found a different one that we like better, and that's the Camco Aeroflow. A little harder to find. We happen to find this at Camping World, but we usually don't see it there. We think it's the best one on the market, and I'll show you why. We like to have access to the fans, and this provides real easy access without removing the whole cover. All you do is loosen these two Phillips head screws, and the top lifts up, and completely off. It's also got real good ventilation on the side of it. Lots of big louvers, moves a lot of air. Now, down inside there, you can get an idea why we want to clean this fan. It's really dirty, and we're pretty good about keeping it clean. We've seen a lot dirtier ones than this, but we're going to get it like new today. Okay, with the fan all the way in the open position, we can easily reach in and loosen first this screw at the lower part of the support bracket here, and then completely remove this screw right up top here. Okay, once you've removed that top screw and loosened the bottom one, you can swing the lid up, and the way to get it to stay up out of your way is simply to retighten this lower screw. And now the lid will just stay completely up out of your way. Now we can remove the four screws that hold the fan in place, which are these four screws. Now that those four screws are out and the whole fan is loose, the last thing holding it in are the power wires. We're going to pop off this one little clip that holds the wires in, down in the track there. And we're going to take off these two plugs, simply pull them out. Now we're going to tilt the fan it at an angle and lift it out of the hole. And it does take a little bit of wiggling. It uh, fits very tightly, but once you do that, you can take it completely out. And now we can see how really filthy this thing is. Okay, so I've wiped out the entire lid. The whole area up here that I wouldn't be able to reach if the fan were still in place. If you look down inside, you'll see there's a little Allen nut that separates the motor from the fan blades. And all we need to do is drop a little Allen wrench in there. It's a 330 seconds Allen wrench. Pop that loose. A pair of pliers or a vice grips will work well. There we go. I'm actually not going to remove it. We're just going to loosen it up. Uh, we've loosened that Allen nut, and now we can just slide these two pieces apart. And here is the bracket that holds the assembly in place on the roof with the motor in it. And our fan blades 
are separate and we can really clean thoroughly. Take a damp paper towel and wipe down all the blades and all the parts of the motor and the uh, mounting bracket. I'm going to take off all the dirt, grease, grime, whatever's gotten in there. I'm going to clean it down real good. Okay, you can see we got that Allen nut back in there and the Allen wrench on it. We're just going to give a nice little snug here just to make sure it's down nice and tight. Okay, we can see our fan is absolutely sparkling clean. But before we put that back in, we're just going to take that damp paper towel and we're going to wipe out in here in the areas that you can't reach when the fan is in place. Dust everything out here. Make this nice and clean. Okay, let's put our fan back in. I'm going to put it at an angle here. And you have to kind of work it carefully in. It's a very tight fit but not hard to get in at all. Now we're going to put our four screws back in, replug our two power cords back in, making sure we get the right one on the right plug, hot and cold. It's uh, 12 volts, of course. Okay, so our four screws are back in, our power wires are reconnected, our clip that holds the power wires in place is clipped back on. Everything's beautifully clean. Now we need to reattach the screw that holds the lid in place and we can just pull down on this and line up the hole right in here just put that screw back in and tighten up the other screw okay our screws are back in place on the bracket that holds the fan lid in place we need to put the top of the fan cover back on here but before we do that we have to close the lid Okay, now we're going to line up the hinges on our cover, drop it down, tighten these two screws in. Now the last thing we're going to do is snap this pop and lock screen into place. These are inexpensive, about uh, $20 at Camping World, and that's it. And that's how you super clean one of the dirtiest parts of your RV in less than 30 minutes.